what am I under arrest for? For reckless endangerment. And how was I Turn recklessly around. endangering my child? Talking. Brittany Patterson never imagined that she could end up arrested for something like this. I was shocked, surprised, disbelief, couldn't really understand what was going on or why. They told me to put my hands behind my back. And then I had to ask to tell my children uh, goodbye. Recently, the Georgia mother of four making national headlines. A Georgia mother is facing jail time because her nearly 11-year-old son walked into town by himself. As a result, she was arrested, fingerprints and mugshots taken. She says he was never in any danger. Taken into custody after her 10-year-old son left home by himself and was found walking alone in their small town of Mineral Bluff. Brittany charged with reckless conduct, sparking a nationwide debate over what's right and wrong when it comes to a child's independence. In the comments, Jesse, half was for her, half was against her. People everywhere weighing in on all sides. Um, who are we kidding, y'all? I've probably let my kids do way worse things. Even on talk shows. I say, please drop the charges for this mom. She doesn't deserve to be arrested for this. If any parent has read any of the Beverly Cleary books, Ramona, Henry Huggins, those kids were roaming the neighborhood in a way that we would call free range now. We used to allow children some freedoms that we no longer allow them. And I don't think that's to their benefit or to ours. The crime was that she didn't know where her kid was for a little while because she'd left him at home. And to her surprise, he didn't stay home. It's just so normal. And to, to make that into a crime, is insane. It seems like everyone has a take on Patterson's case. How much freedom for a kid is too much? If we don't give our children opportunities to, more, to be more independent, they don't get to exercise those muscles and think of them as someone who is capable of being independent. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics. So this is crazy. There's no reason for this woman to be arrested, in my opinion. You know, 10 years old, they're acting like this guy was, you know, five years old or he couldn't even walk or talk at 10 years old. A person is pretty, you know, I don't want to say independent, but they can really do a lot of things. At 10 years old, I was walking to the store at 10 years old. I was out riding bikes all through the neighborhood, going into other neighborhoods. So does my mom need to get locked up? Well, that was a different time. So this is 2024. So we live in a era of Fear, I guess we can call it, because everybody's afraid. Something might happen to the baby. He's 10 years old. Let's lock him up. No reason to knock this lady up. Just being honest. You know, I guess they got to make an example. But just for walking to the store as a 10-year-old, you know, because you could almost argue this is like government oversight, too much government oversight. Why does the government need to tell me what I need to do with my son? Now, if he was out here breaking the law or doing something illegal, that's another story. But he just walked to the store. What law was broken? What do you think? Theatrics, children are generally ready to walk alone safely without adult supervision at around 10 years old. Parents watching this story who are kind of thinking to themselves, what would I do in my own scenario? No parent always knows where their kid is, you know, and it's not a crime. That, that kids are human beings and sometimes make bad decisions, sometimes don't tell you where they are. That doesn't mean you're a bad parent. That means you're a human being with a fellow human being who's younger than you. Recently, the Surgeon General issuing an advisory about parents feeling high levels of stress, highlighting that 41% of parents say that most days they are so stressed they cannot function, and 48% say most days their stress is completely overwhelming compared to other adults, and that time demands and concerns about children's safety can contribute. The Surgeon General just did this big study where he said that parents are really miserable. Well, of course, if you're expected to be with your child every single second in parenting, never had to be 24 seven until now, but I don't. But wait a minute, let me ask the question that I know somebody's thinking, cause I'm thinking it, where the daddy at? Where's the father? Is this a single mama? What's going on there? I mean, I guess you would think that you can let your husband or your, the father of the child keep the child sometime, but at 10 years old, is this really a baby we talking about here? Blame the parents. I blame this culture that talks endlessly about the impact of every parenting decision on every atom of their kids. 
being. If you are anxious, I guarantee your kid is catching it. If your kid is anxious, I guarantee that you are catching it. What happens is we pass that anxiety back and forth and we start creating anxious patterns in our family that actually make anxiety worse. It was just a normal day for us. Brittany Patterson's ordeal began when... So here she is with her 10 year old son. Um, it just really doesn't make sense. Like I said, he looks like he's pretty, you know, a normal kid. He can walk to the store, um, go buy candy, do stuff, or even just go visit a friend next door. Oh, we can't let you out the house. We have to be watching you every little step of the way. That would drive me crazy. Who want to watch a kid at 10 years old like a hawk? I mean, she had to do other things with her other kids from what I understand. And now they're telling you that, oh, no, we just going to arrest her for this. I think this was uncalled for. And it's definitely something that people need to be looking into. And uh, I guess you would have to change the law or maybe they shouldn't even be enforcing this because uh, that's really who created this whole problem, in my opinion. And she says she left home late October to bring one of her older kids to the doctor. Her younger son, Soren, who was nearly 11 at the time, stayed home. My dad is there all the time, so there's always an adult in the home. And so off I went to go take my other son to his doctor's appointment. Sometime later that day, according to a Fannin County Sheriff's Office report, her son, Soren, who has since turned 11, walked less than a mile into town to go to the Dollar General. So you telling me a kid can't walk less than a mile to the store, buy a little snack, a little sippy cup, whatever he went to buy, or it's going to cause this big problem? What is the world coming to? Are we that afraid now of somebody snatching a kid in the white creeper man van? What are we afraid of? I mean, if the kid knows the neighborhood, he's probably walked to the store multiple times. This can't be the first time he's done this. Like, oh, surprise, we can't go less than a mile, walk a couple blocks to the store. This is ridiculous, just being honest with you. There's a little tiny post office, little tiny fire station, a Baptist church, a gas station, and a Dollar General. Authorities discovered him walking alone after getting a call from a concerned resident, police dropping him off at home, according to the report. He was not missing. Um, I had just seen him two minutes before. So I knew he was on the property and I was not concerned. So the whole idea that he was missing, I feel like is a is not accurate. So they done made this young man missing in action. They stretched the truth, arrested his mom for no reason, put her through all this stress, making a media firestorm. Kids can't walk to the store. Would you let your 10 year old walk to the store less than a mile? Would you? Be honest. Don't be lying. Tell the truth. So if this video is, uh, you know, any kind of insight to you, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. It's brought to you today by futurecashflowclub.com. Let's see what else they got to say here before we wrap this up. So the whole idea that he was missing, I feel like is a is not accurate. But a few hours later, police returned, arresting Brittany in front of her kids. The warrant claiming she willingly and knowingly did endanger the bodily safety of her juvenile son. Her attorney disputes this. I was not in disbelief because this happens. Uh, and as soon as I learned more of the, the facts, it was clear to me no crime was committed. David DeLugas is the attorney representing Brittany. He says she didn't do anything illegal. Brittany has declined to sign a safety plan put forth by the Georgia Division of Family and Children's Services that included putting a GPS tracking app on her son's phone. Oh, hell no. Nah. We ain't putting no GPS tracker on no son's phone to make you feel better. When since did the government know better to do with children more than the parents? Does the government know better? The police or this uh, prosecutors or this court system? How and when did we give all of our rights over to them to make decisions for us? Because he might run away to the store. Oh, no, we don't want that to happen. This is getting out of control. Ten years old, walk to the store. All of a sudden, he's going to be missing. Uh, I had to go and you know, hire an attorney. Who wants to spend money on an attorney? She had to spend a few thousand dollars to get that attorney on lock on retainer. I mean, I know this would drive me crazy. If you call a document 
a safety plan. Maybe what's in it ought to make the child more safe. And by the way, that assumes he was unsafe in the first place, which he was not. Part of why Brittany declines to sign it is he wasn't unsafe. What would you say to Brittany Patterson? Right on. Who hasn't had that experience? What parent in the world has not had some time when they thought their kid was one place and it turned out they were another? Lenore Skenazy can relate to Brittany's story. Back in 2008, she too divided the country when she let her nine-year-old child take the subway by himself in New York City and published an article about it. So I think one of the first questions as parents we might have is, did he have a phone or a watch, any communication device to get in touch with you? God forbid. Were you worried about that? If I was worried about his safety, I wouldn't have done it. She didn't expect the backlash that followed. At well, I'm going to be honest. On this point, sending a, a nine-year-old on a public transportation subway system in New York City, that, my friends, is a little bit more extreme. You're coming in contact with other people. You're, um, you know, there are some creepy people out here in New York. Kind of, you know, not to say nothing bad about it, but New York kind of weird anyway, in my opinion, because of the laws and the things that they have going on there, you know, and all the illegal migrants and all the other stuff that's going on. Even though this happened way back prior to this illegal migrant crisis that we're in right now, uh, I don't know about that. Sending your kid nine years old on a on a uh, subway train by itself in New York. Nah, that's a little more extreme than this walk to the store thing. What do you think? Times dubbed on TV as America's worst mom. What if something, you know, God what? forbid it happened? 17 years later. I finally realized that uh, that was my real crime, was trusting my kid to do something without me being independent, being out in the world. But that was the charge against me. In retrospect, looking back at your son's childhood and now he's a, he's grown up, do you stand by your decision to prioritize his independence, even in the face of all that backlash you received? I do, and I stand by anyone's decision to prioritize their children's independence because independence is trust. Skinazy is now the president of the nonprofit Let Grow an organization that promotes so-called free-range parenting. How important is this conversation? If you actually let your kid do something by themselves, you let them walk to the store, you let them walk the dog, you let them make the pancakes, you're allowed to be imperfect, if that's what we're going to call it, because perfection has never been a requirement for being a parent or a kid. As well, I'm going to say this, you know, failing in a controlled environment can make a huge difference in a child's life so you want them to fail so they can learn from the failure or take the loss instead of get the learn instead of the loss you don't want to have them so afraid that oh i can't do anything i can't turn on the microwave i can't walk to the store i can't now like i said going to the uh you know train by yourself is a whole other thing traveling across town but you know walking to the store i don't think this lady should have never been arrested um keep this family together um, and I guess that is the father answering my question from earlier, if that's him. Uh, this is ridiculous. I just want to know what you think about it. Leave your comments below. Should she have been arrested? Should kids be able to go to the store, be able to free range, I guess is what they're calling it, and do things on their own? Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share if you care. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. I don't know what you've been doing. You've been sleep. Let me wake you up with something. Straight up. Yeah. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chris Monroe. R to the O E. I flip houses, rent cars, and make money. You know I'm not no motherfucking dummy. This how we do.